John was an ordinary boy living in a small town. He loved reading books about adventure and mysteries. One day, while exploring his grandfather's old attic, he found a dusty, old clock. It was not like any other clock he had seen. It had strange symbols and a bright red button. John felt curious and decided to take the clock to his room to study it more. For days, John looked at the clock, wondering what the symbols meant. He searched through his books but could not find any answers. His best friend, Emma, came over to help. Emma was very smart and loved solving puzzles. Together, they spent hours trying to understand the clock. And one evening, John could not resist any longer. He pressed the red button. Suddenly, the room began to spin. Emma shouted in surprise, and John felt dizzy. When the spinning stopped, they found themselves in a different place. It looked like their town, but everything was different. The buildings were old, and people wore strange clothes. They had traveled back in time. John and Emma were amazed. They walked around, trying to understand where and when they were. They saw a group of kids playing and decided to join them. The kids were friendly and curious about John and Emma's strange clothes. They quickly became friends. One of the kids, named Tom, told them it was the year 1900. John and Emma realized they had traveled over 100 years into the past. They tried to explain this to Tom, but he did not believe them. John showed him the clock but Tom thought it was just a broken toy. John and Emma decided to keep the clock a secret. They wanted to learn more about this time. They spent their days exploring the town, going to school with their new friends, and learning about life in the past. They saw how different things were without modern technology. People traveled by horse and carriage, and there were no phones or cars. John and Emma found an old library in the town. They spent a lot of time there, reading about history and trying to find clues about the clock. One day, while reading an old book, Emma found a picture of the clock. The book said it was a time-traveling device made by a famous inventor. The inventor had hidden the clock to keep it safe. Excited by this discovery, John and Emma decided to find out more about the inventor. They learned that he lived in a nearby city. They told Tom about their plan to visit the city and asked him to come with them. Tom agreed, curious to see if John and Emma were telling the truth. The journey to the city was long and tiring. They had to walk and sometimes ride in a horse-drawn carriage. When they finally arrived, they found the inventor's house. It was a big, old mansion filled with strange gadgets and inventions. They knocked on the door, and an old man opened it. He introduced himself as Mr. Whitaker, the inventor. John and Emma showed him the clock, and Mr. Whitaker was shocked. He explained that he had lost the clock many years ago and thought it was gone forever. Mr. Whitaker told them how the clock worked. He said it was powered by a special crystal that could bend time. The crystal was hidden inside the clock. He warned them that time travel was dangerous and could have serious consequences. John and Emma realized they needed to be careful. They asked Mr. Whitaker how to get back to their own time. He showed them how to set the clock to return home. They thanked Mr. Whitaker and promised to be cautious with the clock. Back in their town, 
John and Emma pressed the button again. The room began to spin, and they felt dizzy. When the spinning stopped, they were back in John's attic. They were relieved and happy to be home. John and Emma decided to hide the clock so no one else could find it and get stuck in time. They buried it in the attic, covering it with old boxes and blankets. They knew the secret of the clock but promised not to use it again. Days turned into weeks, and John and Emma went back to their normal lives. They never told anyone about their adventure. But they often talked about it and remembered the lessons they had learned. They understood the importance of living in the present and appreciating the time they had. One day, John found a letter in his attic. It was from Mr. Whitaker. He had written it long ago, knowing that John and Emma would find the clock. In the letter, he told them to be brave and to always seek knowledge. He also warned them about the dangers of time travel. John and Emma decided to keep the letter as a reminder of their adventure. They continued to be best friends and shared many more adventures together. They knew that the magic clock was still there, waiting, but they were happy just to live their lives in the present. Years later, when they were grown up, John and Emma still remembered their journey through time. They told the story to their children, who listened with wide eyes. The story of the magic clock became a legend in their small town, a tale of bravery, friendship, and the mysteries of time.